Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here are some timely updates for you. Buyers may have noticed a significant shift over the past week for Alaskan sockeye salmon. Harvest has been good, fish size large, and with the Japanese market being weak, speculators were expecting to see lower prices and abundant inventory. As the season progresses, it has become clear that this isn't likely to be the case. A lot of sockeye went into cans, and with a lower than expected Russian fishery, more demand was put on Alaskan supply. Pre-season, most processors expected weak demand for frozen sockeye, primarily based on the Japan market. In order to avoid inventories, the domestic fresh market was targeted and a very large volume of fresh sockeye were sold. The Cook Inlet fishery has been poor as no set net or beach fishing was allowed as part of a conservation measure for Chinook. As the numbers come in and the fishery winds down, processors are realizing that there may be a shortage of supply. Until final inventories are determined and contracts are filled, processors will likely keep their sockeye off the market. Price increases are expected in the short term. In our report on the Alaskan sockeye fishery, we briefly mentioned the closure of the set net and beach fishing in Cook Inlet. The closure was a conservation measure for Chinook salmon, a fishery that is in big trouble. Alaskan Governor Sean Parnell has asked for a federal disaster declaration for Yukon and Kuskokwim Chinook salmon. The 2011 run was the worst in 30 years and biologists are predicting that the Chinook return to be lower for 2012 run. Alaskan Department of Fish and Game has put a ban on Chinook salmon fishing on the Kenai and Kasilov for all fishing. This will be the third consecutive year with no commercial fishing. Alaskan authorities have announced that the subsistence fishery will be sincerely, severely restricted in an effort to allow escapement. Parnell has called for a comprehensive research plan from Alaskan Department of Fish and Game, as well as millions of dollars for Chinook research. Biologists are warning that the Cook Inlet is on a similar trend and severe measures to conserve the Chinook runs need to be taken. Changing ocean currents and temperatures are thought to be one of the most significant factors. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.